Good morning, church. Martha and I are enjoying the beauty of this fresh spring morning, morning after the rains of yesterday and the bright sunshine this morning and the new green of the grass and the leaves. Such a beautiful place. Uh, I would like to encourage you with a couple of words of scripture this morning and then also look forward to Sunday. Uh, Martha and I were reading this morning from Luke chapter 12 and Jesus has some invitations for us, a couple of invitations uh, to consider. Uh, listen carefully to these words, uh, especially for this season in our world, they are most appropriate. Luke chapter 12 verse 24 says this, consider the ravens. Well, I don't see ravens out here, but earlier we were hearing uh, strong bird song. It was so beautiful. Consider the birds, let's say. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Here's the second invitation from Jesus. Consider the wild flowers, how they grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his splendor was not dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after all such things. And your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well. So these are amazing words from scripture. I hope they bring some comfort to your soul this morning. We are looking forward to Easter, not Easter Sunday, Palm Sunday, this coming Sunday. Uh, and Marcus will be preaching and leading us into the story of the Garden of Gethsemane, which is just before the, the crucifixion. Uh, and this is the time of great suffering for Jesus. Let us prepare our hearts to learn the lessons as Jesus also suffered with us in this world and uh, so we look forward to that do do uh, uh, if you can uh, I want to I want to offer a word of thanks to those of you who have given uh, but by various means through our Elsom account and through our Demir bank account uh, to help the, the needs of the church and I want to encourage you if you haven't that you can do that uh, there's a there's a link on our web page to see four ways that you can continue to give to ICB and I'd like to encourage you to consider to keep doing that so we can keep ministries supported and going. And uh, let us truly be gospel people in this world as we considered from Romans last week. Let us be generous, let us be others centered. One way that we can do that is to support organizations like Arms of Love. Arms of Love is traveling around the city with permission to deliver food to needy families. They also have an Elsom account and I can give you that by email uh, I'll also put that on the website. So, um, yeah, let's, let's learn to be gospel people in this world. Uh, we look forward to meeting together virtually on Sunday. Look forward to celebrating virtual communion together. Uh, may God bless you. May God give you peace. May God give you health and protect you and yours. God bless you.